So guys, I don't know if you guys have heard, but we have a new rod and reel and hard bait sponsor. And I'm proud to say that uh, both on the Texas Insider Fishing Report, the Florida Insider Fishing Report, and Sportsman's Adventures, you're going to see us promoting all the Berkeley hard baits as well as their rods and their reels in, in regards to pin and Fenwick. Oh, it's so exciting to get new toys. <gasps> now tell me, do you not think that an unsuspecting snook, tarpon, or redfish, or a sea trout isn't going to want to eat that Berkeley stick bait? Twitch baits, I love them. This is the shallow 90, does three and a half to five feet of water. And remember, you can manipulate that by simply holding the rod tip up. If you twitch that with the rod tip up, because of the nature of the lip, it's gonna stay down, but your pull point is gonna be seven to eight feet above the water, depending on how tall the deck is on the boat you're fishing off of. What a great color. I know that in the tannic water of the Everglades, that's gonna be a new favorite. Let's see what this one is. It is the black and silver shallow, same thing. I ordered lots of these in lots of different colors. Oh, we gotta, I gotta see this one. You know, so many times catalogs just don't do baits justice. <gasps> chartreuse and purple, two of my favorite colors. If there ain't chartreuse, there ain't no use. There it is. That's the shallow in the Cutter 90. Happy days are here again, baby. Hard baits are alive in the Murphy house, babe. Let's see. Oh, does that not look natural with the chartreuse bottom? Love it. Then we are going to crush the fish on these Cutter 90s. Big box alert. What? Are you kidding? This is gonna be the new bait casters. Low profile bait casters. Mm. And what? Are we kidding? Are you kidding me? What's my favorite color? Red. Look at the red highlights on this new Fathom. Dudes, we are going to work some shorelines. I'm gonna load this up. Some 15 pound braid and get with it. The pin fathom. High speed too. I gotta see what it says here on the side of the box. There it is, gear ratio 8.0. That is high speed. All right, let's see what this one is. Mm. This is the fathom 400. And what I'm thinking is a little bigger bait cast in reel. for my snook fishing and throwing big plugs to tarpon, which we'll start doing here in another month. We'll load this up with 40 pound braid. Yo, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Look at that handle, gonna be absolutely perfect. I'll load this up with a 30 or a 40 pound braid, put it on a heavy action rod seven and a half to eight feet so i can throw a long ways with some big hard baits probably somewhere in the five to six inch size and we'll be twitching trying to find those big snook that'll lay up uh, at the bridges in the florida keys and some places and big deep lakes in the back country let's see what this is oh no no don't say it don't say the hijacker. Top water plug, are you? Dog, we're walking a dog again. You know, one of the things that's so cool about the Berkeley baits is that they designed a lot of different colors, which certainly work really, really well, both and fresh and salt water. I know this is some of their pros favorite for bass, as well as a striped bass, it's a three hooker. Uh, this is called the Hijacker 100. So it's a walk the dog, a little bit bigger profile. To me, this looks a lot like 
our mullet that we get in the springtime, which we got that coming up pretty soon. We got some lures. Oh, this is, I think, a clown color. This is, a, I believe, an all-time favorite for a lot of saltwater guys. Look at that. Is that not crazy? Any of you guys that fish tannic colored water, chartreuse and coppers and bronzes, and this is one that has a little bit of everything. Certainly, I love the red head. They call this the clown, and uh, it's perfect, spot on. I know I'm gonna catch a lot of critters on that one. Oh, let's see what this is. I don't know my numbers yet, my color codes. <gasps> we hadn't seen this one. Look at the chartreuse. So guys, if you're wondering when I would throw one over the other, when the water's gin clear, I'm going to throw the foil that has, the, like that clown I just showed you, where it has a lot of iridescent colors so that I can take advantage of the sun and the sun reflecting off of all the colors. And you get the flash, like having a mini mirror underneath the surface, especially when the water's clear. Let's see what this is. Oh boy. This is the 200, just like a small bait caster, the Fathom. But I ordered the high speed versus normal and whenever you go into the tackle store if you see an hs on the the number hs would be high speed no hs would be just the standard so if you're going to be fishing jigs you're going to be fishing worms if you're fishing for bass then you're going to want to have a little slower retrieve ratio. And that's one of the reasons why I ordered the same size reel, but a slower retrieve ratio. Maybe walking the dog, I want the um, retrieve ratio to be smaller. Look at that little fathom. Nice. Got some pretty gold highlights on the side of the reel. Thank you so much, Pen. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh! Are you kidding? Straight up chrome? It's, it's over. The J. Walker 100. All chrome. This is crazy. I, you know what? I can't take it. I got to find my phone. I got to take a picture. Send it to my boy Captain Page because he's a, nothing but a chrome man. He loves throwing the chrome. I got I to gotta find my phone. He'll call me back here in a second. Watch. He's going to call back. Guaranteed. Pin. My boys at Pin have hooked me up. Ain't no playing around anymore. So guys, if you like seeing some of these cool products or even some of our cool tips, all you gotta do is like and subscribe. Now, I would imagine that in these long boxes, there's gonna be some rod love. Uh oh, here it is. Here it is, guys. What does Captain Page say? He said, what does a man gotta do to get a dozen of those? <laughs> I can make that lure famous. <laughs> you go, go, there it is. You see it right there. What does a man got to do to get a dozen of those? He got to call me. Baby, we having fun now. Let's see what we got here. Oh, can't hardly wait. I, I know what comes in these long tubes. Oh, I know what these rods are for. Sean, pull that off. There we go. So this is the battalion and this is a fast action 20 to 40 seven foot spinning rod seven no eight foot so what I did is I'm thinking about putting a 6,000 size reel fishing probably a pinfish or a crab 
or a, a mullet for tarpon and for the snooks. Love it. Got the part so that when we put it in the rod holder on the contender, the reels are not banging back and forth. Some of the rods manufacturers don't put the gimbal butt on there. And then when they go into the rod holders on the contender, they want to bang back and forth when it's rough. All right, man, looking good. We got some more boxes to open. You gotta love this. I order rods. They don't send one or two. They send cases of the rod that I like. Can't wait to see what happens. Mm. Nice. So this is the same series. This is the battalion. You can see this is for my Pathfinder and for the Maverick. We're gonna have, pull that off. <laughs> Get the cardboard on the end there, bud. There you go. So this is seven foot six. So I probably was thinking fast action, 12 to 20. 15 to 40 if you're fishing braid. We're gonna probably put a 4,000 size spinning reel on here. So that'll be one of the ones that I think about putting on here. 40, 4,000 will be the right size. Looking good, man. Okay. Uh-oh, got something new. Mm-hmm. So, as you guys know, I love to catch bonefish, not only on fly rods, but on spinning rods. And the key to being able to get out to the bonefish is having a real light tip. Keeping that in mind, again, still the same battalion, but this one is seven and seven and a half feet, seven six. Went with a cork grip. What I love about this is that the reel seat locks down. So it moves the reel foot a little closer to the grip so that it gives me more tip action. Now this particular rod I ordered thinking about throwing a shrimp or a real light jig while sight fishing for bonefish on the flats, potentially a permit on the flats, still plenty of backbone here, redfish and snook. But when it comes to throwing something that's light, a quarter ounce, uh, or even maybe a 16th of an ounce or a 32nd ounce jig head with uh, an artificial shrimp, then this is certainly what I was thinking and had in mind. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guides, love it. But this rod here is gonna really do me some really good justice in regards to bone fishing and all that sight fishing that I wanna do. And the reason why I got it seven foot six is so that I can throw that shrimp or that real light jig a long, long ways. An eight ounce jig head would work just fine here. Let's see what we got here. So this is the battle three. This particular, this is a 6,000, and this is the size reel that I ordered to go with this eight foot uh, battalion rod. And as I shared with you when I first showed you the rod, I was thinking about this using it, throwing big lures uh, for tarpon. Also live baiting with either a pinfish or a a uh, crab the reason i got an eight footer is because it's not accuracy casting it's about how far out away from the boat i can get or off of the beach or when i'm fishing the bridge a lot of times we'll throw way out that way and then let it drift down uh, down current of the boat so being able to throw the distance is really really critical so this battle three with six thousand is gonna hold, let's see, that's mono. Here's braid. Again, what's cool is that Penn puts the, all the 
the information about how many yards of braid or how many yards of mono it should hold. So in braid, 30 pound braid, 490 yards. 40 pound braid, 390 yards. 50 pound braid, 335 yards. That's a long, long way. Beautiful, beautiful. What a nice balanced outfit. Let's see here. If you take your finger after you put a rod and reel combo together and you put your finger on the grip, whether it's cork or uh, the EVU stuff, you can simply see if it's balanced when you put the finger right above the spool and right above the uh, bale. And look at how well this is balanced. If it goes like this, then the reel's too heavy for the rod. If it goes like this, then the rod is too heavy for the reel. And you gotta go back to and figure it out. There it is. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So this is the Battle 3 in the 4,000 size. As I shared with you guys, if I want to fish this seven and a half foot battalion, this would be a perfect size reel for putting eight pound or 10 pound. Perfect. Or we can put it on one of these. I got a couple of these. So this is obviously the battalion two. I ordered some 4,000s for it. So I'll load these up with some braid. And then this would be perfect for 12 pound. There we go. How about it? Like it. So guys, thanks for being with me while I unveiled some of the cool products that Pins just sent me. And remember, if you want to learn more about Pin International, Spin Fishers, or the Battle Threes, all you got to do is like and subscribe.